welcome welcome back to a new vlog this vlog it's just gonna be a regular regular weekly vlog i'm so sad because you know what let me brush my hair because i always be coming on this camera talking to y'all looking crusty and dusty and i was trying to stop doing that but your girl got her hair done on friday y'all already know i'm getting my hair done on friday so all that crusty dusty thing will stop getting some fresh braids on friday we'll be we'll be looking nice i'm just gonna brush my hair real quick i have to wash it today before i get my lashes done Real quick, okay. Now I look presentable. Um, I'm probably gonna do my hair better on Thursday because I have a lot of on Thursday. Okay, so here's the deal, y'all. Let me get y'all closer if I can. That's the closest that okay. Oh, y'all see my jacket that I got from. Amazon this two-piece pink two-piece ribbed biker shorts and I also have the the top to match I got that from snood a while ago I have it in black pink and green uh, sage green so that's good I got I wanted to look cute today and I put this on and then I decided last minute I'm not even gonna take my daughter to school today um, it's, it's like the the last two weeks of school she's in kindergarten and yeah so but um so let me tell you let me tell you guys what's going on this vlog was supposed to be me getting ready because you know i know my husband got me some flowers he made me some breakfast in bed for mother's day on Sunday today is Wednesday so Mother's Day was Sunday he did all that on Sunday y'all I have pictures I'll post the pictures and stuff like that so y'all can see what your your boy did for your girl it was very nice I felt very spoiled and um and um, my gift was a self-care day to myself like Like him paying for me to get my nails done, my hair done, my lashes done. That's like my self care. Um, That's my Mother's Day gift, right? So I was like, okay, so this vlog was going to be me doing all of that and getting ready to go to Miami. I was supposed to drive to Miami Saturday, this Saturday for one day, drive down um, my um, drive down Saturday morning, spend the day there. And come back later in the day saturday evening and stuff and spend that day with my brothers and my my dad but all that changed when i got this phone call yesterday from my insurance because you guys know i have my colonoscopy on thursday tomorrow morning nine in the morning and everything changed when they called me because i have to i haven't met my deductible yet and i have to pay a pretty big amount to go towards my that that will go towards my deductible for this colonoscopy. So now I'm at a I'm at a crossroad because you know financial stability. Like I don't I just move into this new unit, and let's be honest, we in May, we in May, in the month of April we went to Miami for Isabella's birthday for a whole weekend, and then we moved so that's like back to back within two weeks in itself so i was like okay i'm gonna get you know after this move get back to work get back into my ot bag and bounce back it's not like you know but i have to like i have to have a certain amount in my bank account to feel secure and i don't feel safe going under that amount um so yeah so i cannot reschedule this procedure it's something that i have to get done because we don't know what it could be if it's it, 
it might be cancerous because I do have cervical cancer that runs in my family. All this type of thing. So, if you guys want to know more, I have uh, I have um, trying to conceive update that's coming soon. It's already edited and uploaded and scheduled. I think it's going up this Sunday, the twenty first. So yeah, but that makes me really sad because I was very I was looking. I was very much looking forward to to seeing my brothers and spending some time with them. Um, now it's like I'm still trying to see if that will happen, but I don't see how. I really don't see how. So that's that's that let me show you guys i got my nails done yesterday i recorded half of it on my phone because <laughs> i forgot my vlogging camera but i got my short milky white will it focus on my nails or what see went back short got my little shorties they are so cute I like when I get short nails, like, or the regular length nails. They look like they are mine. And they are, these are mine. This I just got a layover on my natural nails, so. So, yeah, it's 7.53. Let me power up my computer. So, I can start my work day. So yeah, so yesterday I got my nails done. Today I'm getting my lashes done. Tomorrow I have my colposcopy. And Friday I'm getting my hair done. Today, thankfully for my lashes, I don't have to leave my house. She's coming to me. I'm so happy, so grateful. No extra charges and she's coming to me. I'm so happy. No, I got it. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. So I'm on my way to my doctor's appointment. I have my colcoscopy this morning. Even though I'm seem like I'm in great spirit, I'm stressed the hell out. I have a lot of stuff going on. The way his tire is skirt like that, I was like, there must there must be a load of car coming. It's 8.41, y'all. I have my appointment at 9.15. And my crazy ass trying to get some Starbucks before my appointment. Because I'm starving. Uh, can I go? I hope Starbucks don't have a long line. Ooh. I hope Starbucks don't have a line. Although, there's like three cars in front of me, and one of them is putting an order in already. Anyways, y'all, I'm but I'll pull up my camera when after my appointment and tell you guys how everything went. Good morning. Now we in my car where we have a camera mount and all is that. All right, y'all, we're getting on the way to go get our hair done. Let me start moving. Y'all, I'm probably going to scratch that whole footage. I'm going to scratch that whole footage that I had in my husband's car because the lighting was so bad. Let me fix the map under my feet like... This is like a hazard, bro. Like, I don't understand how this map is like this. Okay. But yeah, I'm, a, I'm about to scratch that whole footage out, delete it. But let me tell you what I've been up to. Today's Friday, May 19, the day after Haitian flight day, May 18. Turn right onto Westgate Drive. Woo woo. So. Your girl is In off of work. Of a mile. Turn left onto South Kirkman Road. Your girl's off of work today, so I'm about to go get my hair done. Um, this morning I woke up, dropped Isabel to school at 8:15. 
then I went to Bravo to buy some ingredients to make it piece because my husband is cooking fish today since I'm getting my hair done um, but he don't know how to season it without it piece so I had to get him At some the next light, turn left so I had to get him some a piece got him some a piece I mean got the ingredients to make the a piece hopefully I'm done with my hair around three four o'clock so I can come, I can come home, and make the apis for him, and uh, so yeah. Then after that, I had a drive up order to pick up from Target, pick that up, then went to the ATM to get cash to pay my At hair braider. Turn left onto South Kirkman Road, and then went to the hair store because I only had two packs of hair at home, and she asked for five. I had to grab some more and uh stop out when dixie because we added two pace at the house like this morning i was struggling like i found a little itty bitty two, two bit of toothpaste to wash my mouth <laughs> so when i so then i got back home and um took a shower brush my teeth again with the correct amount of toothpaste. Got dressed, got in the car. Now I'm on my way. My apartment's at 11. It's 10 30. 10.32. And it seems like she's. In 1.4 miles, turn left onto West Colonial Drive. back home with no braids quick story time my appointment was at 11 o'clock last clip y'all saw it was 10 20 something just got in my car i shook the hair braider a uh, text said hey i'm on my way and i put my phone up i was using the gps i don't like to text and drive i just before i start driving i put my music on i put my gps on and i'm just you know driving and just vibing right so I was getting close to her house. I was about six minutes away and something told me, check my phone. So I grabbed my phone and when I looked, she had texted me like six minutes after I said I was on my way. She texted me and said, hey, she's having very bad cramp. Can we push it till 12? At that point, it was already 10.50, 10.51. I said, okay, you know what? My mom's house is around the corner. Let me go, you know, kill some time at my mother's house. Pull up to my mother's house. My mom was not home. So I ended up just sitting there. I was watching YouTube videos on my iPad. So around like 1040, because my mom's house was like 30 minutes from hers. So around like 1040, because I, when I got back, no, 1140, because when I put her address on, on the GPS, it said I'll get there at 1153. So I got there at 1155, and I, I parked, and I text her, hey, I'm here nothing 12 or 3 I text again I said hey um will you be able will you still be able to do my hair today I'm outside and nothing and then she texted me she said hey give me a few minutes please I'm I'm in the shower mind you that's after she pushed the appointment a whole hour a whole hour so I'm sitting here waiting 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 12 30 at this point like my original braider is her sister her sister re referred me to her so at this point i'm like i really need my hair done this weekend like today's friday i have a whole day off so it wouldn't my hair wouldn't take into my weekend but here we are i'm like okay i can still make the most of this i go to my original braider which is her sister's page she had an appointment available for tomorrow morning saturday morning at 9 a.m i booked that and i text her, i said hey uh, I have an appointment today with your sister, but I'm still outside her house. My appointment was originally for 11, and I don't know if it's going to be done today. So she responded to me. She said, oh, I'm so sorry about that. I apologize. Yeah, she's been crimping. I got you tomorrow. Well, the moment she said that, I said, bet. Then that's when the girl texts me again, and she's like, she said something about how 
she took a shower because she was really trying and this and this and that and i said hey listen i understand your situation because i used to get bad cramps too but i would have appreciated it if you had just straight up let me know that hey i'm not going to be where's my phone did i leave it in the kitchen oh it's up there i would have appreciated it if you had tell me straight up hey i'm crimping can we reschedule like can you come a little bit later like something because at this point i've been left my house since 10 20 it's 12 30 ish by the time i get back home it's like one something like it's 138 right now so it's like i i in one side one part of me feel good that once i drop isabella off i did not come back home because i was gonna come back home and chill because i'm thinking i could run these errands saturday morning thank god i didn't do that and i ran all my errands this morning so now i'm home today i'm home for the rest of the day i can clean up my house today i won't have to clean up tomorrow and sunday i can still have my day to just chill sunday before i get ready for the next work week so i asked her for a refund for my deposit and um yeah the difference between her and her sister for that style is five dollars she was charging me five dollars more than her sister so i'm just going to like go to her sister tomorrow morning at nine in the morning hopefully by two o'clock i'm out but i am getting small we'll see that's the whole thing y'all because like i was so ready like it's like the one time i'm trying to record a youtube video about my self-care my my nails i was supposed to do on monday then was pushed back till tuesday i was supposed to do my lashes my lashes wednesday she canceled on me she said her daughter had a fever which i understand but she said she would reschedule but never made any attempt to reschedule with me and now my hair like what is going on and i had a feeling i was talking about it with my husband last night i was like what if this girl cancel on me but she texted me yesterday telling me hey get five packs of hair so i'm like ain't no way she's gonna cancel on me she texted me literally the day before child boo. but um some of the things i got at target i got this uh, this four drawer wire drawer organizer i saw it from this lady's tiktok i don't even remember her name on tiktok but i saw it how she organized it because my 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 closet is already crowded sadly um it's in my husband's trunk because i was driving his car this morning when i was running errands and i left it in there i need to ask him to bring it in for me when he come home it's 60 dollars, and this is what it looks like like it's so it's white you might not even be able to see it see i got that i'm going to use it in my closet to organize a little bit more summer like next week next friday is the last day of school and in, in florida so summer is officially in full effect so i got a couple things to get isabella ready for the summer i got her this cute hat how freaking cute is that it's from the cat and jack brand and it's 12 dollars so so excited i need to take a picture of that i got her this bag oh my god how freaking cute the hat in the bag oh my baby gonna be so cute the bag was 16 dollars cat and jack brand again and i got her this cute little heart shaped sunglasses cat and jack like i'm so freaking excited like i need to get me a hat too i'm gonna have braids i'm probably gonna have to schedule some braids for isabella for the summer so i don't have to keep doing her hair i got a couple things you guys know i'm going through uh, uh some stuff in in my life like i have my whole trying to conceive is that my husband somebody at the door but as y'all know i have my whole trying to conceive journey and you know i sometimes i feel like i feel like everything that i'm doing it's like it's in vain but it's not so i just need to ground myself and circle back to what is important which is god 
I need to get closer to God in my life. So I got a Bible because I just want to start reading the Bible. I got a Bible from Amazon. Ugh, do I have something to cut? Oh. Well, let me take a picture. Big Bella stuff. <clears throat> okay, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was posting stuff on IG. So yeah, I got some. I got a Bible. And I got, these are the highlighters, aesthetic. They call them Bible highlighters. But I guess they don't bleed. They don't bleed. So, so it's two sets of the same color or what? They look like the same. I guess it's not. So I got these highlighters. So cute. I want to start reading the Bible. Yeah, my Bible, I think my Bible's getting delivered tomorrow. Though. Is this my Bible? I don't think so. Oh, that's probably the thing for my com my work computer. So, so it's a, okay, so this is a monitor memo board. And it comes with the memo board on the side. It comes with, what's this? I don't even freaking know. Let's install it.
so I can get to where I'm going. Good morning, y'all. So today is Saturday, so we're gonna try this getting our hair done thing again. Um, I explained the whole situation yesterday. So I booked my appointment for nine o'clock and she said, yeah, she got me and everything. But last night she texted me asking me if I could come at 8 a.m. instead. And of course, <sighs> that's even better for me. Cause in my mind, the earlier I start, the earlier I'm done. So it's now 7.47. I left my house at 7.30. I've been up since 6.30 though, because my stomach, I don't know what happens. I, I think I know what happened. And, and it was like, I was, I wouldn't say being reckless cause I didn't know, but I should have read the, the stuff on the medication um my doctor gave me some antibiotics to take for like two days so i take two yesterday like i had to take two the day i went to the doctors and take two the next day which i did now last night i got the snoop dog wine y'all saw that so last night my husband was cooking and stuff i was just chilling so i said oh let me pour me a glass of wine while i'm chilling so i pour me a glass of wine so all my vitamins um and whatever medication i'm taking i usually take it at night right before i go to sleep so i finished eating my food and i was feeling sleepy so i was i was feeling so tired i'm like okay I was like, okay, it's time for me to hit the stack. So I went to I went in my room, got in my bed, and of course I took the antibiotics, I took my vitamins, and I I fell asleep. I don't even know what time my husband came to bed. I think I heard him. I think I heard him um turn the TV on because there was a game last night. There was a basketball game last night. I heard the TV, but I was like gone. This morning I wake up, my stomach is in shambles. Like I had to lay down like three times while I'm trying to like take a shower and get dressed. I had to like, after I got, got out the shower, I was standing for too long. My heart was beating fast. My stomach is like, I, I used the bathroom. I went number two like twice. So I'm like, oh my God, what is going on? So I had to lay down, you know, the AC's on, the fan is on, cause I was a little bit sweaty. So I just lay down for a few minutes and i am feeling a little bit better but i haven't ate anything i don't feel like eating anything i feel like if i eat something it's gonna come up so i just stopped at the store i just stopped at dollar general i got me some gas x i got me because i also have a headache i got me some tylenol and um hopefully and i also got me some candy because I've noticed recently that when I start when I'm when I'm hungry like my hands start shaking it's giving like my blood sugar is low so I'm thinking if I start feeling hungry I can pop a couple candy in my mouth so you know get me together it's 750 her house is not that far but I need to start pedal to the, to the middle so I can get there. I already have all my braiding here. I left it in the car since yesterday. I didn't take it out. Um, yeah. Hopefully. When I oh, I also have some, got some ginger ale because I know that's good for your stomach. So yeah. Let me pedal to the middle to get to where I'm going. And when I get back in the car to talk to y'all, I'll be a bad bitch. Y'all, I'm done. I'm free. Look at my eyes. I feel like this one is smaller. I'm so tired. I was falling asleep while I was getting my hair done, but I'm in love with my braids. I love my hair. I got small knot lengths and I got them butt length. So they literally, I think I, did I get butt length? Yeah, I did. 
I sure did. And it's literally to my ass and I love it. Nails done, hair done. The lashes, I didn't reschedule for the lashes anymore because I was like, you know what? I am, I've, I've really been into my skincare lately. I'm in the KFC drive-thru, I, I gotta get something to eat because this morning I didn't eat anything. So yeah, I'm like, I'm, I've, I'm really into my, you know, self-care right now. And like, you know, like my skin, my, not just my, my face, like my body and everything. So I'm like, if I did, if I did get the lashes, like how would it do, with, you know, my face mask, my face scrubs, exfoliant and stuff like that. How would it work? So shit. It's God who the line finally moves in. So do I even know what I want? Cause I was talking to y'all. I zip up my body suit a little bit. I realized this morning that thing was showing, but look at you girl. Clean skin, clear skin, fresh braids. Oh, I'm excited y'all. I'm so happy with my hair. I love it. That's the only thing I'm booking from now on. Small knot list but length only yeah i'm so 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 excited love my hair but i'm about to get me some kfc it's so freaking hot the ac is blazing in here because it's, it's so hot when i first got in the car my dash my dashboard showed 97. well let me let me order what the hell Number eight is the three-piece chicken. They give they give you a drum and thighs. Where's my wallet? Like I have this pink bottle. It usually keep my water cold. Let me see, cause it stayed in the car. It's not cold, but it's not hot. It's cool. Girl, I'm in love with my hair. Okay. Hey y'all. It's Sunday night. And I'm just gonna wrap up this video. Just wanted to like close it out, you guys. See, I got my hair done. I'm gonna post a video. Um, it's all the way down to my butt, butt length, small knotless braids. Just got out the shower, did my skincare. Hold on. I ain't gonna put you on the tripod because I'm not wearing no pants. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just want to be you around your house and just wear oversized tee with pennies. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys a couple things I got from Amazon, but I got some glass bowls. Um, I'll post a picture because I already opened them, popped them in a dishwasher and everything. So, but um, today, woke up. Got my daughter ready for church. She goes to church with her uncle, which is my husband's brother and her um, cousin Cousins and stuff. So they go to church every Sunday. So got her ready. He came pick her up They went to church. I started doing laundry. I cleaned up the house And around 1 30 I still have laundry to do around 1 30 
Um, my my daughter and I, we put our bathing suit on and we went to my mother's house because my apartment have a pool, but you know, community pool with private home pool, private home pool is cleaner. So we went to my mom's house and my daughter got to play with her cousins over there. We chill in the pool, we order pizza, drink a couple beers. And then the rain ran us out the pool around 5.30. So we ate some of my mom's food and as soon as the rain died down around six o'clock, I got in my car, came home. Now I'm, you know, trying to finish up my laundry. Honestly, I'm not going to go into the new week with uh, folded clothes because I'm probably just going to like um, clean them and dump them on my couch. But maybe Monday, tomorrow after work. I can go ahead and get them folded and put them away. I'm going to show y'all the four drawer little organizer I got from Target because I already put it together. I put it in my closet and it's going to come handy for, you know, when I'm organizing these clothes. But I want to show y'all this Bible. I got a Bible, y'all. It's a cute little pink Bible. I want to start like getting closer to god that was my goal for this year and i was doing very good watching my church every sundays that i don't actually go to church um but i was thinking like i was talking to my husband and i'm like yo you know how some people they can if you if they talking about something they can actually quote a verse from the bible that relates to what they talking about we can't do that so my husband already had a bible so i got me a pink cute little bible and I got me these little highlighters. They're on Amazon. They like call them Bible highlighters because they don't bleed through the pages. So yeah, so starting tomorrow morning. In the morning, Mommy. I'm gonna have some time to myself to, you know, Mommy. read my Bible. Bella just came in here. Mommy, yes. I'm tired. You wanna go to bed? Mm hmm Okay. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I do that every week before I start the new week. I'm about to get my vitamins together. And my vitamins, I ran out of a couple of them. I mean, not really. I'm still getting all the nutrients that I need. The vitamins that I ran out of, I still get them in my prenatal. So I'm good. I also have my metformin, 500 milligrams that I have to add in here as well. So let's start with the fish oil. That's the fish oil your girl take. And that's my little pill organizer. I organize this every Sunday. So I'm about to do that now and then I'm just going to go in my room and pop the Sunday one. Oops, I'm oh, sorry. See how big these are, y'all? So I'm going to put fish oil in for the week. So it's one. The fish oil says one soft gel per serving. Um, the prenatal is two soft gels. I need to order some more prenatals because I don't want to wait till I run out. You guys know I'm trying to conceive, so I take prenatals. But hey, even if to our channel. <laughs> even if I'm not trying to conceive, I would still take it because it's so good for your skin, your nails, and your hair. Like the amount of nutrients you get from prenatal is crazy. Like <laughs> you see all this? Yeah, I'm always taking prenatal. And then this is my B12. The B12 is supposed to be one micro lorange. And it's 200 in there, but I've had this B12 for a minute. So it's one, one, two, three, four, five. Missing two. Mommy, how old six, are you? Seven. I'm 31. How old are you? And these are my D3 vitamins, and that's supposed to be one soft gel. <gasps> yeah, one soft gel. Isabella, how old are you? Six. You're six? Mm 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're big. I'm not nice. You're a big girl. Yeah, I'm not nice. Okay. I'm six. Now I'm about to put my metformin in there. Alright, I also have these sleeping pills. I get them from Walmart and I take one. I put I just add one in there since I take my vitamins at night. Right before bed. And baby, your girl, I'm I'm not diagnosed with insomnia. I'm not like diagnosed with insomnia or anything, but Sometimes I can toss and turn for a minute. So those little slipping pills that I get from Walmart, they like soft gel. It knock your girl out and it doesn't make me feel dizzy, groggy when I wake up in the morning. It's not habit forming because sometimes I'll notice like after like if I take it every night for like a week and I'm falling asleep by 9, 930 like i'll form the habit of falling asleep at that time so once it hit like 9 15 i start yarning and stuff like that so i'll notice that but i don't they're like the pills themselves and itself is not habit forming but i'm not really gonna show them because hey they like in a clear bottle they blue if you want to get them for more and more you can i'm not advertising nobody to take no medicine because i don't know how you're gonna react to it uh, yeah, I'm just I just share my vitamins with y'all. I didn't even show y'all my metformin because they have my personal information on there, and you need a prescription for that. Ow, no. my breast. I'm sorry. You're squeezing on my boobs. I'm sorry. Why you don't go in your bed? You said you're tired. Cold. Can I? I want brown blanket. No, that's for my office. All right, y'all. So let's go to the room. I'm gonna take y'all to the room to show y'all the the wire. Uh, let me get my glasses. I mean, my closet it ain't bad, but this is it right here. Got it from Target. It's one, two, three, four drawers. So I'm gonna move my husband and I like underwear here so we can free out space in this dresser for actual clothes. So, yeah, you guys, that's about it. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to join the gang. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Say bye again. Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, bye, vlog. Oh, yay.